Daytona Beach is often the base of operations for vacationers looking to spend time on Florida's east coast. Miles of beautiful hard-packed beaches along the Atlantic are the main draw. There are a number of local, state, and even nationally managed parks a short drive from Daytona where you can spend an entire day soaking up the sun while taking in authentic Florida. From a park where you can make your own pancakes inside a vintage sugar mill and one of the best spots to view manatees in central Florida to a park where you can learn more about the region's cattle history and a national wildlife preserve where you might just be lucky enough to see a baby sandhill crane. Today, five parks near Daytona Beach that should be on your radar. Drive 30 minutes south of Daytona Beach on Coastal Highway A1A and you'll come to the end of the road at Lighthouse Point Park in Ponce Inlet. 50 plus acres of natural Florida beauty with a coastline that's thankfully been left in its natural state, free from hotels and high rises. A series of trails and boardwalks allow you to view the pristine coastal dune system. This thousand foot paved fishing jetty separates the ocean and the inlet tempting you to get out on the water with your own boat. These covered pavilions are a great place to host family get-togethers, and at this park, you'll find one of the few pet-friendly beaches in this area. Swimming is allowed on the beach and in the river. Just keep a watch out for swift currents and undertows. If you're looking for a fun, laid-back day of fishing, boating, swimming, surfing, pretty much anything you want to do on the water, this is the place you have to be. Not affiliated with the park, but something you should do while you're here is a climb to the top of the Ponce Inlet Lighthouse. This separate ticketed attraction is rich with history and provides spectacular views of the inlet from 175 feet above. About a 40 minute drive west of Daytona Beach is De Leon Springs State Park. Covering more than 600 acres, the park is home to a large natural spring that pumps out 20 million gallons of water every day. The water stays a comfortable 72 degrees year round and is a popular spot to go for a swim. While there's lots of trails to hike and nature to see here, most folks arrive early in the morning to experience one of the most unique breakfast spots in Florida. Inside the historic Old Spanish Sugar Mill restaurant, they've been serving up the best meal of the day the same way since the 1960s. Customers are seated at wooden tabletop griddles where they make their own pancakes using two types of house batter, unbleached white and their unique stone ground mixture of five different flours. Fruits, nuts, peanut butter, and chocolate chips are available to add in, and you can also make your own eggs. Ham, bacon, sausage patties, and other down-home favorites from the kitchen can also be tacked onto your order. This do-it-yourself breakfast experience can't be beat when you're near Daytona Beach. A scenic 50-minute boat tour provides insight into the park, and visitors can do a little bit of everything recreationally, including fishing, kayaking, and instructional scuba diving.
covering more than 2,600 acres 40 minutes west of Daytona in Orange City is the largest spring on the St. Johns River. The always warm waters of Blue Spring State Park are a designated manatee refuge, attracting visitors from all over the world during cooler months. Florida's lovable gentle giants can easily be viewed from observation platforms along an elevated boardwalk that stretches a third of a mile from the river to the head spring. While wintertime is the best season to see manatees, some individual sea cows seek out Blue Spring in the summer to birth their calves in a protected area. Nature lovers can spend time hiking on the Pine Island Trail or taking in the sights and sounds of the river on an eco boat tour. The spring and spring run are closed to all water activity from mid-November to mid-March. While swimming or diving with manatees is not permitted, the crystal clear waters can be enjoyed by swimmers, snorkelers, and certified scuba divers with a partner during the designated swimming season. There's also a small campground, canoe rentals, and self-guided tours of the historic 1872 Thursby House. Spanning more than 265 acres in the community of Osteen is a local park that originally functioned as a working cattle ranch. Beck Ranch Park gives visitors a glimpse into one of Florida's most important early 20th century industries. A silo and this slaughterhouse are the last surviving reminders of the ranch, which at one time encompassed over 10,000 acres. Near the front of the park is the Brickyard Slough Trailhead an opportunity for adventure seekers to hike where cattle still roam freely. The landscape transitions from pasture to coastal scrub to open prairie before ending with epic views of the St. Johns River. This trail is a favorite with horseback riders who you'll likely encounter along the way. Be sure to make your presence known so you don't spook the horses. Beck Ranch Park also has a dog park with separate areas for small and large dogs, picnic areas, and volleyball courts. While you're in the Osteen area, take time to visit Hickory Bluff Preserve, a true Central Florida hidden gem. A quick 10-minute drive from Beck Ranch this 135-acre local park has an easy loop trail through scrubby flatwoods and a beautiful oak canopy to one of the most exquisite payoffs you'll find in this part of the state. It overlooks the mighty St. Johns River. There's a very small beach with driftwood where you can stick your toes in the water to cool off after the hike. Hickory Bluff Preserve is open sunrise to sunset. There is no charge. The final spot we want to mention is about a 35 minute drive west of Daytona Beach in the community of De Leon Springs. Lake Woodruff National Wildlife Refuge is expansive, covering more than 21,000 acres. It's a popular migratory bird refuge with miles of man-made dikes that form pools, which attract marsh birds and waterfowl throughout the year, especially in winter months. Birders know this is one of those key places in the state where you might be lucky enough to see a limpkin, a large wading bird normally found in more tropical climates further south. More than 200 species of birds have been counted at the refuge. Much of the property is only accessible by boat, with canoe rentals available at nearby De Leon Springs State Recreation Area. The top of this observation tower provides incredible panoramic views of the property, so be sure to bring your camera.
This is one of those places you're almost guaranteed to spot a gator in the wild. You are likely to see gators along the impoundments, so like any place with fresh water in Florida, always be aware of your surroundings. Fishermen enjoy bank fishing for bream, bluegill, specks, largemouth bass, and jackfish. A Florida freshwater fishing license is required for persons 16 or older. That's it, that's our look at parks near Daytona Beach that should be on your radar. Thanks for watching, see you next time.